Uh, so I'm Alexander. This is my wife, Kristen. We're the Gartleys. And uh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Uh, we're with Core Love International, so we live in Houston, Texas, um, but we do ministry in Haiti, in South Asia, and in Honduras. Yeah, you were just you just came back from a trip to Honduras, right? Yes, last week it was amazing. Uh, we got to minister to to children there um, through local churches, and we actually saw several uh, teenagers give their lives to Christ for oh, the first fantastic. time. So it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So is the primary focus of your work children then? Yes, yep. So we do orphan care. Um, we take care of children that have uh, you know, no one to care for them, provide their basic needs. Mm. Um, but the greatest thing we do is getting to introduce them to their Heavenly Father, telling them their identity, that they matter, they have purpose, they have a destiny. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, there may be some people in the room who have thought about uh, the kind of work that you're doing. And maybe they've even entertained a thought. Maybe it's been a reoccurring thought that God would want to do something like this in their life. What advice would you have for someone who's trying to process that? Yeah, I mean, first of all, anyone that knows us knows we're just normal people. <laughs> like, but we're just on this journey with God, this amazing adventure. And so I would just say, if you're feeling those things, just pray, talk to God about it, invite him into those conversations, um, and then see what step of faith you can take. Um, so God will, you know, he'll lead you as you go. And so sometimes it just takes that first step of faith, whatever that is, and he'll reveal that to you, um, and he'll lead you along the way. And um, yeah, he's faithful. Yeah. Now, you guys are not alone. You have a family. How many kids? Yeah. What are the ages? <laughs> yes, we have two boys. We have a seven-year-old, and we have a four-year-old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and so how do you think about taking your children from very comfortable Rochester, New York to mm -hmm. Houston, Texas, which contrary to popular opinion is not a separate country, <laughs> but, uh, uh, but also involved in these kinds of trips. I'm assuming they've gone with you on some occasions. Um, so they haven't actually gone on an international trip, but okay. we have actually started to do a ton of local ministry in the city of Houston. If any of you know any statistics about Houston, there's a great need there as well. Um, so we've involved them in a lot of local ministry, homeless ministry, just reaching out to people, meeting people where they're at, um, and it's just been a blessing. We've actually brought our kids into our headquarters to work on different projects and things as well, so it's been awesome. <laughs> so what can we do here to help what you do there? Mm. I would just say um, that similar to the story of Moses and Aaron, just having your support in prayer, um, just your thoughts, um, just words of encouragement, any support that you can give, it's like holding up our arms. <laughs> it's truly just that picture that comes to mind, just um, how Moses, you know, was just human and he had these moments of weakness and God brings the body to hold up your arms um, in, in so many different ways. And so I would just say, um, yeah, prayer support, any kind of support. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> We're so grateful that, uh, I mean, children in any culture are the most vulnerable population. Yeah. Right? Uh, they can't really speak for themselves and often can't care for themselves. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we think you're expressing the heart of our Heavenly Father uh, to be able to show care for them, but also to introduce them to Him. And uh, I can't imagine how much joy that brings to God. I know when I hear what you're doing, it makes me very happy. So I'm grateful for that. Uh, could you do me a favor right now and just uh, everyone here, if you just extend your hand towards the Gartleys today. And uh, if you don't know, maybe you're not been in environments like this where this occurs, this is the posture of blessing. Uh, there's, we, we know lots of other postures in our world. Uh, but this is the one that makes a difference in heaven and, and on earth. So, Father, we ask your hand of blessing to be on Alexander and Kristen and their boys. We ask that you would guide and guard their steps and that you would provide for their every need. There are children in places that if we saw it, it would break our hearts. And the Gartleys have decided to go to those places and let their eyes see those things because they also know something else. What they know is that you have something else for those precious children, and they get to see your grace manifest in their lives. 
Thank you for calling them. Thank you that they said yes. We ask your blessing upon them. In the name of your matchless son, Jesus, and all who agreed with that prayer said, amen. Can we thank Alexander and Kristen for serving? Yeah. Thanks. And uh, they'll be in the lobby after the service if you'd like to talk with them about some of their work. And some people want to know, well, if I were going to support missions or global partners, how would I go about that? You can do that anytime. Uh, whether you're giving a physical gift or an online gift, uh, we have options for missions and uh, you can support that. What I can tell you is, is that every dime that comes in for our global partners, of which we have well over 30, and uh, there's, they're all over the world uh, doing incredible things, uh, when, when you give every dime that goes, we don't take out processing fees, we don't take out oversight fees, we don't take out anything. In fact, in addition to every dime that's given here, we give an additional, this year will probably be $30,000 uh, more than that because we believe that God loves people wherever they are. And it doesn't matter what your ethnicity, it doesn't matter what your education, it doesn't matter what your economic status is, that every single person has a right to hear the goodness and the graciousness of God. And we're so grateful for people like Alexander and Kristen who are making that possible. Amen?